Hi and thanks for watching. This video will give you some information about the student funding available for NHS funded courses at Swansea University, including nursing, midwifery, paramedic science and clinical physiology courses such as cardiology, audiology and respiratory physiology. In order to receive funding for an NHS funded course, you must first satisfy the rules of residence. Firstly, if you have moved to the UK from another country, you must have settled status, which means you must be settled in the UK in compliance with the Immigration Act. Secondly, you must have been living in the UK and Ireland for at least three years immediately before the start of the academic year in which your course starts. And finally, you must be living in England, Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland on the first day of the academic year. Even if you don't satisfy the residency requirements, you might still be eligible for funding. Also, if you have already successfully completed a degree, you may still be eligible to receive funding if you plan to study on an NHS funded course. For more information on this or to find out whether you're eligible, you can contact the NHS Wales Student Awards Unit on 02920 196 167. There are two parts to student funding. The first is tuition fees and the second is maintenance, which relates to living costs such as housing, travel, food, books and study equipment. On NHS funded courses, your tuition fees are covered in full by the NHS and payment for these is made directly to the university. In relation to your maintenance costs, funding is available from the NHS and the Student Loans Company. All students are entitled to receive a £1,000 grant from the NHS and a reduced rate maintenance loan of £2,522 from the Student Loans Company. On top of this, you may also be entitled to receive an NHS bursary of up to £4,395. However, as the bursary is means tested, the amount you receive will depend on your household income. The funding you receive from the NHS does not need to be paid back and the maintenance loan only needs to be paid back in instalments once you've finished your course and you're earning over £21,000 a year. Depending on your circumstances, you may also be entitled to apply for supplementary grants. If you have adults or children who are financially dependent on you, you can apply for dependence allowance and parental learning allowance. If your children are in childcare with a registered childcare provider, you can also apply for the childcare grant which could cover up to 85% of your childcare costs. Travel grants may be available to help cover the costs of travelling to and from your clinical placements, and if you require extra support due to a disability or learning difficulty, you can also apply for disabled students' allowance. Finally, certain students may be entitled to claim benefits while studying. If you'd like more information on this, please contact the Money Advice and Support Office to speak to one of our advisors who will be able to discuss your entitlement with you. Our contact details will be available at the end of the video. You'll need to apply directly to the NHS Awards Unit for your grant, bursary and any supplementary grants that you think you may be eligible for. The maintenance loan will be available from your funding provider, which will differ depending on where you live. If you're a Welsh student, your funding provider will be your local authority, and if you're an English student, it will be Student Finance England. Applications can be made online via the websites displayed on the screen. For NHS funding, an application pack will be sent directly to you from the NHS Awards Unit. This normally happens in June of each year. With regards to your maintenance loan, applications are now open for both England and Wales, and the easiest way to apply is by doing it online. It's important to get this done as soon as possible to make sure that your funding is in place in time for the start of the academic year. Don't forget to let your funding provider know that you'll be in receipt of a means-tested NHS bursary. This will make sure that you are awarded the correct amount of loan. Many students experience financial difficulty while studying at university, for example due to an unforeseen circumstance. If you find yourself struggling financially during your course, you can apply to the Financial Contingency Fund, which is a hardship fund administered by the Money Advice and Support Office. This is not a source of funding, and an award from the fund is not guaranteed, but if you do receive an award, you won't need to pay it back. As well as administering the fund, the Money Advice and Support Office is also here to offer advice and information on things like bank accounts, credit cards, debt, budgeting and much more. So if you have any questions relating to student funding or any other money-related query, 
You can get in contact with us by email at moneydoctors at swansea.ac.uk or phone on 01792 60 Good luck and thanks for watching.